so we'll get started. Um, tonight's meeting, before we get too far along, it's officially welcome Tim to the committee. Um, looking forward to your input in, uh, in getting this project hopefully going and done. So um, with that in mind, um, I need somebody I'm looking for a motion to approve the Move. The minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thank you. And then at this point, I think we'll, we'll turn it over to you guys. All right. Yeah. So based yeah. on the discussion from last week, um, we've made adjustments to the, the intergenerational park, and that's on the first three sheets. And then we modified the scope on both the high school site and on the, um, the Howard School site. And then basically the Howard School site is a reduction. Um, and so we can go through. Um, and then we also, on the high school site, we included an alternate for the outfield in turf. Um, and then we've got mm -hmm. the price estimates for the intergenerational park revised, as well as for the other sites revised. And unfortunately, I printed out the wrong PDF. So we can tell you what the ad alternate is, but it's, it's a fairly large number for the baseball outfield because um, as you look at that, that basically it's a field and a half of turf, mm -hmm. uh, soccer turf. Yeah, yeah the prices yeah, are the same yeah. from the is previous. That one? Uh, yes, that one. So if, if we can we can wander through, let's let's start with the intergenerational yeah. park if that makes sense. Um, what you see from from a, the kind of the, the basic scope is the two fields, the north and the east field, um, are similar to what we had before. We've maintained the kind of the the cost effective storage buildings. We've added four pickleball courts, the basketball court, um, the parking is as you see it. We've removed the trees from the west side of the larger field to accommodate vision from the from the parked cars if need mm -hmm. be. Um, and then um, the um, building is the new revised footprint and we can go through that but um, just so that you know we have a series of trails within this park um, and you can see that there's, there's a brown trail and then there's the white trail. The white trail is a paved surface sidewalk and the thought there is that that's really for handicap accessibility. So that makes it kind of a universal um, pathway that, that everyone can enjoy the park regardless of ability. Um, and then as you get into the brown, we're in slightly more sensitive areas. So we want to make sure that it is a slightly different composition of trails. Um, and that would be a network of, of different types of trails that allow permeability. I have a question. <clears throat> so these the trail is the pricing on these sheets and does that include the cutting of the trails <coughs> um, I know there's a line a natural line item says natural trails yeah that it says you know uh, wood chips yeah so is that just wood chips or does that yeah no that, that includes of remo cutting? removing and and um, preparing the trails yeah, yeah. 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 I mean I'm the interpreting price. this dollar amount here and I get I know it's an estimate but this dollar amount here gets us gets this, this as as yeah. seen, envisioned. Mm -hmm. right. Again, you know, I know you don't, you're, you're not. It's not your invoice, yeah. um, but you're making an assumption that this number here right. gets us this here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I think that we have on the last sheet of the um, of the estimates kind of like a range because you know there's there's many ways to, to skin the cat. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, there, there's, you know, even from the building standpoint, if we go with kind of explosion proof school type construction, it's a lot different square foot cost. So what we're assuming is that it's wood frame construction with kind of cement fiber siding, asphalt shingle roof, wood truss, um, fairly cost effective. And then in the restrooms, we have um, protection on the wet walls, but it would be impact resistant drywall, which we, we've actually and used it in. in we're starting to use mostly in our sports building. It's, it's, it's hard to kill and it, it's hard to beat the price as well. Yeah. And the re you want to go over the revised building? Oh, yeah. It's like on page three? I think yeah, the so the two. second page is, is really the rendering that's been revised. Um, and, and we can flip between the rendering and the building. Um, you can see that it, the building is a fairly straightforward um, truss building. 
um, in kind of a north-south direction. And then we've got a slight overbuild to create an entry for the food pantry that's, that's identifiable as an entry um, on that west side. Um, the restrooms, again, are facing the north, and those really are accessible to both fields. Um, we've got basic the women, the men, a janitorial, a family, and then some building support functions. And then we have a building uh, field storage at the very end of the building that services that easterly field. Um, and then you can see on this sheet before that really kind of how it fits on the site. That you have kind of a colonnade structure that identifies the restrooms to the, the park, but from the parking lot you also have a door for the food pantry that's clearly identifiable and could have signage on the entablature. How does this storage in this building compare to the storage <coughs> we had in the previous building? It's a hundred. I, I reduced it by a hundred square feet just to kind of re keep the building in line. Um, we've also maintained the two storage buildings for the other fields, so it's about a five hundred square feet of storage. And the other was six. And the other was six. Okay. And this built the restroom and storage building that sits on the footprint of where the proposed basketball facility was. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, the 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 site plan is is pretty consistent to what was there before. We've increased the parking slightly, so if we were to put that building back in, we'd have to adjust the eastern side of that parking. But it's really just asphalt. Um, if we move. Uh -huh. Oh, any yeah. any questions or yeah. thoughts on that? I think that's what we asked for. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So <clears throat> as we move to the high school site, you'll see that we have the basketball court and the tennis court to the north of the school, um, and then we have a price for a synthetic field infield on baseball, and then we're showing just you know what is the opportunity for the natural grass outfield and a, and a soccer field. And, and what are the dimensions yep. on those? Is that a 210? The soccer field is probably um, 180 by 330. Okay. It's a smaller soccer field. Yeah. yeah. And then the next sheet you can see is the synthetic turf at alternate. Um, and we, we can ship you um, tomorrow morning the, the PDF that actually had that price in. But it was about a million dollars because it's. It's a very large field. So yeah. on the 561072, we would probably add 700,000 to that. Is that about right? Because the, on yeah. the other page, you have 300,000. Yeah. And then, so to a million would be about 700,000. <coughs> okay. About a million, two for it's the high school. A million instead of 300 yeah. okay. for the baseball, baseball field. Yeah. So yeah. all in, it's 11 million, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and then we didn't print the Howard. Um, the yeah, Howard and then site. what you can see on the Howard Cross. site is the four pickleball courts. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we moved those actually westerly so that they're actually closer to the road network and farther away mm -hmm. from the field um, and the Howard School site because there's some, some thoughts of keeping those, those mm -hmm. separate. And, yeah, closer and to the council line. Closer, yeah. 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 <coughs> and then there's the renovated basketball court in its current location. And that's kind of the scope for yeah. the the remote sites as well. So sorry, the Howard School, is that pricing somewhere? Yeah, the price, sorry, yeah, we didn't print that this time and bring it with us, but it's on, it's the same as on the last sheet. I mean, as the sheet, on the, the, the very last, last time. Sheet of that one. Yeah. yeah, so that was the oh, I see. renovated basketball courts, 44 to 66,000 mm -hmm. dollars. And then four pickleball courts, 110 to 135,000. And on the renovated court, we're really talking about a smaller court with limited, um, yeah, limited amenities. Fencing. So it's really yeah. kind of a hoop um, and the court, you know, possibly a small fence, depending on, on what you like. But it's not, it's not the Taj Mahal of, of basketball courts. Yeah. So I, I'm sorry, I missed a couple of meetings, but so <coughs> why are we doing pickleball courts in both places? Did we? We, we did have six pickleball courts at, at multiple sites, and then the thought was that, I, I, and yeah. you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the thought was that it would be kind of nice to have in the intergenerational park just to make it more 
have more offerings in that park, but mm -hmm. also have pickleball because of, you know the. Yeah, the senior. So yeah, the council senior. We're trying to anchor by the council on aging for yeah. for that obvious purpose. Yeah. yeah. And then when we weren't doing the building at the um, the park. Yeah. Um, we thought it was a good yeah. use, especially with the popularity of pickleball. Like we, yeah, we Fair. anticipate that four courts at the Council on Aging would not be enough. Would not be enough. Yeah, because okay. you wouldn't have the indoor pickleball courts that you would get from the building. Yeah. So it was yeah. kind of a, and then you get eight town wide instead of just six. Of the spot where you guys have Howard. the pickleball courts right now at Howard, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have been over there, but it's a pretty wet. It's a fairly yeah decently wet area yeah I don't know if you guys yeah I, 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 you can see it from the road it's it's clearly a grove of trees but I'm not sure it's tip, usually it, full of water it is in the yeah. fall and the spring yeah yeah I'm not I, because I, my kid I, swims in it yeah <laughs> <laughs> we weren't sure if it was like a, like a like <laughs> a pseudo drainage area or not but um, that could be revisited yeah. so the other location is back over by the um, uh, volleyball, you know, the old beach volleyball the, court. The, the, the old so that's the alternate volleyball. location still. Um, so yeah, we so were e either way we put them on either side. Yep. Yep. I'll throw that out there that also with our new MS4 document that just got submitted, the drainage at that site was on that list. So if we tied the whole project in and fixed the drainage problems that were there, it would also help with mm. that project as well. Any idea what that's going to cost if we weren't doing this? Not to, to mitigate for it. Yeah. I think, Jeff, were you going to say something? Well, same thing. I mean, you balance the location of that to make it easy for the council on aging versus, you know, putting it in an open field where we're not taking trees down or necessarily doing anything from a drainage standpoint. Yeah. Um, but we want to make it. Yeah, but I think part of the issue, though, is, as we pointed out last week, if you put it next to the school, then that's it's going to be kids using it at recess and things like that versus that, others that aren't going to school. That's you know. easily managed. Yeah. I, I get it. But could we, um, if we place it to the right in that current open area, could we put a fence around it and that would, oh, yeah, that would mitigate for it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Chris, let me ask you that. Where the, where the courts are right now, the pickleball courts, yeah. those are obviously mature trees. Yeah. Um, would it be possible if we move the pickleball courts to the right? That we could put some nice pathway or, or something that was really aesthetically pleasing to go from the sea away over there and so we could kind of like walk through the tree area to get there you could but this this here now is a fenced in playground for the for the howard school i don't know if they'd want to lose uh where's that they, when did they do that no, you, you're you're it's here. not here it's not a playground but it's it's a fenced in no, grassy sorry. area right behind the howard where the yeah yeah. Nope. There may be an old fence there somewhere, but I don't think that's no, all fenced. That's not all fenced in. Yeah. Uh, that might be on the other side of the school. There's a playground on the other side of the school. Yeah. yeah. Up, up, up close to Howard Street, the new one we built. No, no, no. This is the area that used to be the volleyball, yeah. correct? The oh, okay. grass and Correct. And then right behind it is the area that is got fence, chain link fence going down the back, along the side, along the road, the access road that goes around the school. So this is a fence in area where they go out for recess. Has that fence always been there? Yeah. Yeah. The fence runs the wood line, I thought. Uh, mm -hmm. It goes down and it goes along 106 and then it comes... I don't think it comes up though. Yeah, it there does. It's pretty much around this whole area, huh. unless I'm dreaming it, mm. which I could be. No, it looks no. like it's actually there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. see shadows. Yeah, there it is, right there. I can see it on there. Yeah. Um, it, did we decide that the old septic was inactive or active? It's inactive. However, that is where the holding tanks are for all of the municipal buildings. Oh, so, so the pickleball could not there. slide over behind That's correct. It. These are all, the, there's two, correct, either area, 12 yeah. or... 30 foot long septic tanks. They're both here, there's yeah. two of them. And then the lines this run across. Kind of this what about it right here? Along here? Again, I sent them the plan, so yeah. they would think I didn't do the to match. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah. to me, that's a perfect spot for it, right here. Mm -hmm. except yeah. we're going to incur quite a bit of cost that. moving those tanks. Mm. No, yeah, we also, they'd no. definitely be no. under the tanks then. 
because I thought the tanks might be more back here. Well, from what I'm, I looked at, but I sent off the plan and I didn't study it, but talking to Rob, it looked like there was a rectangle here and a rectangle okay. here. Okay. They were kind of um, staggered a little bit. And they were mm -hmm. good sized tanks. So if it could fit there, that would be perfect because then the senior center would definitely feel like it was their ownership. I know. You know, which would give them a little ownership to it. Yeah. Do we have a survey where those tanks end? Um, I sent over from the Board of Health, I sent over the as built for it. Okay. I mean, that might be worthy of seeing where they end. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there a possibility to actually put the pickleball in an east west direction just north of where the tanks are? But I think we can do the, a quick overlay to tanks. see what. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, it, could it be, you know, there's that tree line north of the open field. I mean, can we encroach a little bit on that tree line, but maybe put it just north of the tank? Is yeah. that wet? Right. Um, there is an area you're in there, but I think it's more behind the library, or closer to the closer library. Closer to the library. The tanks are like probably centered, centered on this lawn area. area. Yeah. 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 I'm just wondering if we have just slightly yeah. north in and then rotate those. Yeah. Not at the immediate spot. Right yeah. Yeah. You might have some area there you can shift into. That, that might be worth like just that exercise of looking at that because that you know I think it's nicer to have it in the Council on Aging because yeah. then it really becomes kind of There's not a school property right yeah. thing. Right. And, and we, we can easily lot, so. we can easily throw that survey on on an aerial and see what the limits are. Mm -hmm. Yeah I'm just looking up to try to see if I can find what I sent you and it's not always easy to do from the phone. What's the uh, dimension of the four pickleball courts? I think it's um, there's there's sixty by one twenty something like that. Okay. Sixty by one twenty. Okay. I mean, one other option to consider is 30, to put 30, two back here. For 60, the 60, mm -hmm. so. Right. Yeah. It's like the right. size of a tennis court. So, yeah. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. When I I remember looking at that plan, and I think those those tanks are like centered on that lawn area. So it really would have to go to the north of the go to the, north the of grass. Those tanks and we, yeah. And that, that's probably an easy exercise. We rotate them. So they're east west. Right. Yeah. And then and then see where that tank ends so that in case you have to go back in you have enough room. Yeah. Or even cut down to two and put them back there. Yeah, I, th I think it probably is gonna require kind of thinning out that, that southerly <coughs> edge of that wood area. Because mm -hmm. really it really would be nice to have them more by the senior center, I think. Okay. We can look at that again if we can cut into those trees. I think, I think we decided not to do it like in the center of that tree area. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Those previous mm -hmm. proposals. Right. But My if we can just go north of the but if, if tank, sixty feet in there, you know, that's not a huge dimension. That would be nice to kind of to find this thing. jam it in. Yeah, there's a there's um, a water catch some water retention basin. Okay. There. So um, the trees are hiding it, but I'm told that that's where we where we push water. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. told from John. Yeah. Oh, back here. So maybe we, like you said, maybe we can <coughs> cheat it. Yeah. But I know we can't take. We can't all go all the way in. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, maybe we just have to. I found your email. Carbon, carbon, fifteen feet or so. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. There's there's the shed, and then there's the tank, and there's yeah, some other structure here to the here are the tanks right here. Right here and here, so okay. we'd have to be to the yeah. north. Room. Yeah, that's a, that's an easy overlay. Right? Right. We'll throw yeah. it on the aerial and see what the. Okay. It's kind of so that's the lawn area. And those are the tents are there. That's the shed. So they are to the north. They are like up here. Mm -hmm. It's probably why that whole area was clear because we probably cleared to where so to the limits yeah. of the tank almost. Yeah. yeah. So, so we can we can overlay that, that on, on, right, on right, the plan. Right. 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 Right.
The tanks you said uh, um, not used, or is it just empty tanks? Oh, no, 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 they definitely used. They definitely used. And then it pumps over to the, the other system? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that pumps There's to that Legion field over in the soccer fields? That here's the tanks yeah. here, and it pumps. Yeah, and I, get that that I can throw it. So don't worry. Okay. Yeah, those are the distribution tanks, right? Yeah, right. yeah, it all gets collected there, and then, and then push push goes to the goes to the field. Used or they're not no, no, they're definitely oh, used. They're still used. We had just thought, <laughs> we had just thought at the time that because they had been relocated that we thought this was the old leach field so maybe wow. yeah. this was usable space yeah but they moved the new tanks yeah. over there and the leach field over here yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, it looks like a, it looks like the solar system right now. yeah it's, it's like yeah it's, it's tough to read for the big dipper okay thanks i'm ready <laughs> And they do struggle with the costs. So good. Oh, it's I mean, it was. Yeah. The, there down. could be a discussion yeah. for phasing of that yeah. intergener intergenerational park also. Yeah. Um, the problem is, because the layout, it, it'd be hard to build the big field first and build the smaller field second, and the big field is more needed, right? Yeah. Um, but we could phase in the other work, at, you know, like this half a million here. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. One field is not going to cut it. But it. You need the two fields. Yeah. And so if you so if you do the two fields and nothing else, the the cost difference is minimal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It was the yeah. building that was the real chunk of it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, yeah. My preference would be to push for what we have on the front page. Um, and maybe the offer, the other stuff is, is an a la carte option. Yep. The, the offer is a second option almost. Yeah. You mean all the like, other sets? You know, like yeah. we, we yeah, would ask for a vote on the, the main piece and if somebody wants to motion at the meeting to yeah. see the high school or whatever else it might be. Yeah, I mean. You mean yeah. adding a half a million? How would that work? It's a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only three hours, no matter what. Three? <laughs> it's all right. It's the only meeting. It's the only thing. I, mean, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say you'd have a town meeting. Just so the way it would almost have to work would be is you'd have to offer it out at like the 11 million with everything, and then somebody would have to say, well, what if we take this out, mm -hmm. and we just vote on the 8.8 8. 8 million type of thing. Yeah, and I mean, I, th th I think. Instead of adding. I don't know. I think Jeff's, from a, from a, um, a motion standpoint, I think Jeff is entirely right. You do it on the primary first because if that loses, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're kind of sunk in everything else. Right. Anyway. So you you offer it on the first primary, and then you say, okay, here are four options, and then you take votes on each one of those options. Mm -hmm. um, but I can tell people will just be jumping back and forth. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reality is, and, and again, I'm we have time to figure this out. But we look at the tennis court and the basketball court behind the high school. It's a hundred grand. I mean, a hundred grand's not going to sink the project. If, if so, mm -hmm. to me, it's almost like we do this plus that, mm -hmm. and then the the baseball turf. As long as school is okay with the fact that you don't have a place for outdoor track, I think you go for the full F, full turf. Mm -hmm. So that's really a la carte at one point three. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then these two here. What's the cost for these? Mm -hmm. Renovated basketball is four, so you're talking 150. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you go for the full turf on the baseball and that? I mean, you can offer it as both options. Mm -hmm. um, I think you get pushed into the full. My guess is as well. I mean, what I struggle with though is, is the maintenance. Are they maintaining what they have? I, you know, I've heard that perhaps not, and that gives me pause. <laughs> oh, are they maintaining the, the new synthetic turf field or not? I'm not uh, sure. I've existing. heard perhaps not, so that gives me pause. I don't know if anybody hmm. knows for a fact how well it's no, being not. maintained. They're not. No. You just hmm. go up and look at the equipment. Is it used? It's not used. I've never so even seen the high school's equipment hmm. anywhere. Like, no. But they do have a roller. Oh, yeah. There's equipment up there. We've, we've had it out. 
Right. Well, of course, your department's going to have a lot less grass to cut. Um, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're still going to have to cut the same amount of grass. Well, not if we well, not that high. School. Well, it's okay. almost like depending on who is <laughs> taking care of up here, too, because this stuff we're going to have to buy the same equipment up here. Right. right. But I mean, truthfully, Again, obviously, Anthony's not here to bounce the idea off him, but my recommendation is is that if I looked at the tennis court, the basketball court, the Howard School basketball court, and the pickleball courts, I wouldn't bond that. I would, we, I would take it out of free cash. Does, um, does all of this work? Well, no, no, no. Just no. the tennis court, the basketball court, which is 100 grand behind the high school. And then the renovated basketball court, which is around 50. Four pickleball courts around 110. That's 150. That's 250 thousand um, dollars. You know we can take that out of free cash, so you don't have to bond that. Again, it'll be peanuts on the bonding, but regardless, so that that becomes a simpler vote because it's a majority vote. It's not a debt vote. It's not a two-thirds requirement. And obviously, if not paying interest on it, especially in today's interest rates, it's an easier sell. So then you would have to bond. Obviously, the large project bond the baseball field. Um, yeah, it's all about the baseball fields. What do you mean? So basically, because the other stuff, like, like David said, it's a million dollars compared to what the rest of the project. I mean, we're talking about mm -hmm. already you know, coming in now, we're adding 250000 mm -hmm. to for nine or the basketball right. court and the tennis court at the high school, along with the pickleball no. courts <laughs> and the basketball court in the Howard. I, I mean, I would. I mean, the tennis courts, to me, is necessary. Correct. I think that we need that. And the basketball court, I think we should have a full size basketball court in town to where the kids can play out because they don't right now. Yeah. Um, and then to David's point, too, the pickleball and the, and the basketball court at Howard is just it's more money on the I know that's small. Uh, I guess what my concern is spending all this money on this turf for a baseball field and this basketball court if it's not going to be maintained. The soccer field, you said? Soccer field. Was soccer that a soccer field? field? Yeah, Sorry. Soccer field. Well, I think that's a conversation we'll have to have with the appropriate people. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they yeah. have to be, ma they should be being mm -hmm. maintained. Mm -hmm. um, there's leadership at the school. We'll have to have that conversation with mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. um, but I also don't think that we can, for lack of a better term, punish people who want this, need this, and are willing to do it because somebody's not, quote unquote, mm -hmm. for lack of a better term, doing their job. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know whether it's being maintained or not, but I guess we'll have to inquire. Mm -hmm. Those pickleball courts, like Jeff said earlier, they're going to be in high dimension. So for hundreds of Yeah, know. I'm not so worried about, you know, those are small and they're, they're I think they'll be used. Definitely. Um, yeah. The question, the real driving cost on the, uh, on the complex is all the site work. Is, is it, is it, I know it's a hard question because I know you're estimating. But is it really going to cost that much to do site work? Well, it's a large, it's a really large area, and is it's it bringing in a lot of fill? Is, is that? Oh, it's removing the existing organics, regrading, stockpiling, putting in, and then putting in infrastructure to to drain the fields. You know, and then any other utilities, you know, for the building mm -hmm. and. In and, and again is as interest rates continue to rise and they'll continue to rise, we may find costs, because we won't be going out to bid till spring based on this on our scheduling. We may find pricing becomes more advantageous in nine months. Well, we're, we're seeing that with different materials, like wood yeah. framing yeah. is now down to pre-apocalypse levels. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's good. So, yeah, steel and things like that is still still pretty high. So we have an opportunity that pricing might get a little bit better by right. spring. <coughs> you know that just to let you know the schedule would be is if we get approved here in the fall we have to then go out to we'll have to hire an OPM which is going to be in charge of the project and they'll have to go out to bid so there's no way this isn't going to be out to bid before February or March of next year is that would you agree mm -hmm. well, it's yeah. not like any work to get done over the winter unless I don't correct but I think the longer we bid it the longer we wait we may get better pricing you know, even if we save 10% on a $9 million project, it's 900 grand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, mm -hmm. we save 900 grand, that pays for the baseball field. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have any 
any sort of indication from the baseball coach as to whether or not he want this versus not turf? You talked to yeah, Jack at all? No. I'm sure Jack would like Fenway Park right there. I'm sure he would too. <laughs> <laughs> but this still doesn't have fans, correct? I mean, this proposal still has no outfield fans. I think, I mean, that's coming from Jen, and I know that's coming from Mark, so uh, yeah, not, to, not to overstep what Jack right. might want, but that's what the leadership's looking for. Yeah. We know, we talked at, way back at the beginning that there was pooling of water near home plate on the baseball mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm. By doing this project, does that mitigate for that? Yeah, yeah. changing yeah. it to synthetic. Yeah, wood. I think that that was the original response, that. was just doing the infield to collect that. And then, and then the, the question is, how much more do you add? Mm -hmm. Nice needs to be built up. Okay. Right. And then, Bill, what do you think they do with javelin and outdoor track and that type of uh, outdoor, yeah, outdoor track stuff? If this is all turf, do they have space to move those sports elsewhere? Yeah, I think so. I think we can we can find something um, somewhere. Um, Not the YA fields over here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think, I mean, you know, with the, you know, and I'm not sure of the distances and all, but I, I think we can even find room where youth football, the, the younger, younger kids practice right now up behind uh, Spring Street. There might even be enough room to throw the javelin either on the side of the building or one way or the other there. So yeah, Spring Street. I'm not, yeah, yeah, Spring Street. Yeah. Yeah. It's between Spring Street and the road. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, and, and that's only just a short walk from, you know, I mean, that that's happens in a lot of high schools. The, you know, it's different events happen in different places. So, it's not. How close to the road? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be throwing javelins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because there's room for the disc. They, they do the discus up on 106 now. So, there's room up that way. So, yeah, they, they, they had to fit it in up there. there. Yeah. There are if we those, get it in there, we'll make it work. There are those other fields, those soccer fields that I think well, get wet, what? but is the time of year for that sport when that might yeah, be spring, as wet? Use, yeah, you could, they could you could, they could use the Howard fields to throw a javelin too. And what about, the, what about the fields that are through the woods that the town owns? Up behind Rose McDonald? Uh, nope, so if you go to the tennis courts out back of the high school, mm -hmm. cut through the path. Mm -hmm. with yeah, the, with the cross I think there's the water house. back there, the, like water department. Land or something. That's correct. Yeah, you, you re access it through North Elm Street. <coughs> Cross country, I think, runs on it. They do, yes. yeah. 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 Can we share javelin and disc? But I think oh, yeah. that yeah. 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 that's yeah. the other thing is you can, just yeah. sharing and yeah. have two different runways. Yeah, it's, it's a little tight yeah. for the, where we are now yeah. with oh, okay. uh, the discus. Yeah. And the, but yeah, it just makes a, a longer yeah. meeting. How big is this soccer field at the baseball field to you? Know, um, like compared to the smaller of the two turf fields? Yeah, the it's the, it's the same size as the soccer field that's on there now. Um, but I I didn't dimension it, but um, I believe it's a 180 by um, 330 field. Okay. It's like a smaller field than what's on the, you know, inside the track. And that fits MIA requirements? Yeah, that's like a minimum. Okay. It's a minimum soccer. So, so I'm almost wondering if we did this, do we need this small field? Um, um, we could use this too. I mean, the thing about that smaller field is if we don't build it first. I know. That's I, that's the dilemma because we can, we can we, if we had two of them, I mean, we need the big one, but. Would field hockey play? Could could they play on that field also? Uh, the baseball field. Yeah, on that. Yeah, the yeah. Field. yeah. Yeah, I think you have to go with the three fields, especially since I, mean, I was looking at demographic because Mark was asking about future growth. Mm -hmm. You know, we we just we officially hit seventy seven, seventy eight hundred, but we have so many more housing going in. Mm -hmm. um, my personal opinion. I think you'll be at 10,000 in 2030 census. Really? 10,000 10, people, people in town? Well. So it'll be a, in um, 20 years, that's a 3,000 person. I mean, that's a 35% increase. That's a lot. So mm. I think you've got to accommodate yeah. for that. Yeah. No. Is that the school? Yeah, I know Is that tomorrow? <coughs> yes, yes, actually. actually. I know on the, on the football I side. I think, you mean, are we actually building <laughs> As far as, you know, uh, 
having enough fields, we're, we're constantly moving around. You know, uh, <coughs> we do use the front of Spring Street still when we uh, for something that's going to happen on the turf. Um, you know, we use we go over to the Howard Hump. We still use that. We might be on the Howard Upper. We're jump. We're, there's, it's it's it definitely be all the fields will be needed. They'll be yeah. used. No, they'll definitely be used. comes down to are we comfortable asking for a full 11 or are we comfortable starting at 9 and then and then going to 11 or, or vice versa? Yes. Yeah, I forgot. Did we figure out like what the impact would be on a household's tax bill? for? Yeah, so I, I sent an email off to Scott earlier today, so I'm trying to get some of that information. Yeah. It's so hard right now because it's rates and I mean, it's so, it's so volatile. Yeah. So... I feel like we're, we're going to have to give people some kind of range or something. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll do that homework. I was hoping to have some of that information, like, for example, for every one million dollars, it's going to yeah. cost this much. Yeah, something like that. Um, it'd be more difficult to figure out the impact on the average household, but I, if, if I could have, if I knew how much my annual bond payment would be, it would help me build a bunch of around it. Now, the kind of borrowing we would do for this is, is um, a variable, right? Variable interest rate it wouldn't be locked in. So the rates normally get locked in. Um, however, how you pay for it changes over time. So um, they still require more. It gets more interest up front. Scott understands it better than I do. Yeah. Um, it's not your traditional financing that you see on a mortgage. And also, we, he was reaching out to bond council because he was trying to determine for a project like this whether or not we can go 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Because that obviously <coughs> makes a big impact. Makes a difference, yeah. Buildings are easy. Whether or not we can go that far off a field, I don't know. Yeah. Next so steps. He'll, he'll probably have some of that information before we have to bring it forward, right? Oh, yeah. No, I think we have to, I think as a committee, we have to have all that information <coughs> so we know what we're presenting. Yeah. I can't think of any grant programs that would fall into this. The only thing would be CPA, and that's only a couple hundred thousand at most. You can open, is open space, they can do it for yeah, passive this recreation? Yeah, could be on the open space. I believe, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure they've allowed from a traditional grass field to an artificial now, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, you know, that's just a small fund with usually a couple hundred thousand available at a time. Mm. <coughs> it helps, but not a lot. <laughs> so like you said, next steps. I mean, I think my personal opinion is, is maybe we could ask CHA if they could put together a proposal, a one-pager, one-and-a-half-pager. This is our initial proposal. This is how much it's going to cost. Put all of just like in a summary mm -hmm. sheet mm -hmm. so that way we can bring it to the board. I think we're all in agreement what we're looking at here. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they did a nice job, um, you know, designing I mean, it and trying to give us what we asked for. It's just a matter of funding. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, although I'm sad to see the building go, yeah. um, I think this is a pretty good looking project. Yeah. 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 And, um, yeah. and did you bring the bird's eye view? Yeah, as it's well. the next it's page. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the that looks fantastic. Yeah. 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 yeah so, um, yeah, it looks really nice. And again, I really like the walking trails. And yeah. Now, is there a reason why you would do con concrete here yeah. versus pavement, or does is it just aesthetically better? It's really, I mean, I think we'd look at whatever is handicap accessible. Yeah. And it so it's it's just a matter of what is the that surfacing. Yeah. Okay. And we can flesh that out. I mean, maybe, you know, it could be concrete around the main complex and those trail that goes around the pond could be bituminous. Um, so it's just just proposed right now. Yeah. So no, I was just wondering, like, it, was it maintenance? Was it 
cost, uh, you know, sort of what's driving the different. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the mm -hmm. concrete will definitely last longer, you know. Mm -hmm. Concrete lasts longer than asphalt. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think if we could put together a, a, a proposal that marries these as to what their respective costs mm -hmm. are, instead mm -hmm. of doing like a, a sheet like this. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, um, and then also estimated long-term maintenance costs and estimated uh, annual electric costs for the lights. Mm -hmm. um, those questions will be posed, and I'd rather have a bad answer than look foolish right. and have no answer. Yeah. Are we breaking the high school field out, or are we putting it all together? I think we need to break it out. Bill, are you okay with that? That we do that as an hour part. Um, my personal opinion: Do you want to break it out as both? In 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 infield and then infield in outfield, or just break it out as as the whole field. I think the whole field. I, I agree. Think if you're going to do it. You're going to do, do it, it right. The, the and cost and difference I'm is minimal. I'm still. I know. So I know you guys. But from yeah. a bonding yeah. standpoint, no, right, yeah. <coughs> at some point, one's going to drop below the other. It just. It's, it's a funny. It's a funny joint. It's yeah. It's going to be a weird, weird. Weird. Yeah. Oh, you mean mm. like doing yeah, this? this yeah, yeah, just doing that into grass, yeah. like the, the artificial into the grass. Somewhere. Yeah. I mean, my personal yeah. opinion without talking to the board and going through the numbers and building a budget around it, my personal opinion is is that we would have option one, we do this as a bonding article, which is a dead article. We would then have option one, which is the baseball field all turf, which would be a bonding article. And then we would have option two, well, option three, whatever that is, which is all the basketball courts, the pickleball courts, which would be a free cash majority uh, non-bonding article. Um, I think we could streamline it that way. I think we can afford it that way. Um, it's just a matter of how the board and the selectmen, how they're going to want to divvy out the free cash. Mm -hmm. You know, we, every year we do, f we do sidewalks and we do other projects. So. Can we afford all of those, or for one year do we say, hey, for the benefit of the town, do we not do all these for one year and use the free cash towards this project? Knowing yeah. in future years, we'll use the free cash again for other op options. We have to think about what else is on sort of the capital list, right, that would be vying for that free cash? So the free cash would not be the pickleball courts and basketball courts yeah, for intergenerational though. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, intergenerational yeah. would be, be, one, be all one, okay. one vote, one, yeah. one bond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then when I talk about pickleballs, I'm talking it's about gonna be the remote sites. Yeah. 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 Remote sites. And I think that streamlines the votes. Yeah, and it gives. I think it's. I think you can explain it. You know what I mean? I'm thinking more presenting it to the voters ahead of time and, and that night. And it gives people options to consider as well. Right. Yep. And obviously we'll determine impact as well. Yeah. Yeah. So in summary, we would have the intergenerational park in its as is, as shown. Mm -hmm. We'll have the high school site, but that really is only baseball. And then the other ones would be the, the two basketball courts, the tennis court and mm -hmm. the Four pickleball. Four pickleball. Four pickleball. Yeah. Okay. But when you say only baseball, the entire field. The entire yeah. field. Yeah. But you don't. We wouldn't add ten, tennis as a in that third category, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. free cash. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think I think that's got to be our best approach. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, like I said, estimate other costs as well. Yep. Mm. And then uh, we put on our football helmets and. <laughs> so with with this way, with these items at in the neighborhood of the high school, I'm going to call it. <laughs> does that mean the high school controls the usage as well, or is you know I guess what I'm saying is, are is everyone in town going to be able to use these, yeah, or is it really going to be restricted? Well, it'd be like the usage of the track. You can't use it during school hours, and you can't, you know, you can't be up there when the kids are in school. After school, summer, yeah, it sh okay. should be should be available to the people of the town. Okay. But it's just like anything, you know, the same. You, you can't just walk into the gym and start shooting baskets during the school day. Yeah. You know, when the kids are at school. Yeah. 
Well, to Glenn's earlier point, Shane, you know, like that, the, if we turfed the entire baseball field, like the YFA, for example, might be able to practice there if, if the high school is done with their sports for the day. Well, they that, utilize it. Or, or my organization <coughs> for soccer practice, you know, as long as the high school would have first dibs, I guess. Well, that, yeah, that, and that's school really day. what, yeah. But that's no different than it is today. So, in Dur honestly, Only during the school day, though? Well, after school, four hours a day. But yeah. we, like my organization, we don't tend to have practice start till five, and most of the time, high school starts. So okay. it's not that there aren't as many times where you're kind of bumping heads on it. With okay. that smaller soccer field, does, is that prohibitive to any other sport? Right. Our, our approach on, on this has been soccer encompasses everything. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah. lacrosse, it'll, yeah. it'll handle lacrosse as well. But yeah. where we but go, you know. where we go smaller on the on the proposed high school field, would that eliminate? Field hockey or, or no, it should actually the, the even the minimum soccer should accommodate the other sports. So they could you could play youth games there. I guess that's yeah. where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. It would be a regulation size field. It's a good overflow area having having it on site. Um, well, especially on football, when you have thirty, you know, not thirty, but we have five different teams up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you can use the turf, pull the wet out. You know, I mean, practice right now we have. So sometimes there's varsity and JV out there. Sometimes we're bumping into, uh, you know, overflow of games happening in the afternoons, and then we have four teams. So, uh, like, just youth alone, we have, you know, hundred and let's say hundred and twenty kids on just that one field <coughs> plus the high school. So, I was driving in today. There were these little tiny kids with these giant helmets. <laughs> yeah, that's the new mighty mice. Like aliens, like aliens, aliens and land. Yeah. heads. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I think if they went like this, they just tip over. So with these pickleball courts and this basketball court, the tennis court, if if the public wanted to use those during the day, are they going to be restricted by whatever the school is yeah, doing as well? I would imagine that would I would I would imagine so, but that would obviously get clear clarity from the chief. I don't. I don't the, think I don't think I don't think the pickleball. Yeah, yeah. that's but the I whole intent with the pickleball is that it could be used during school. Right, they're not on school. They're basically school property. The pickleball is not on school. It's over. It would be over by the seniors. It's really just the basketball and tennis. Tennis, right? North Behind the, the high school. school. Yes. Okay. But that's not it. But those and it is now. It's the same. Yeah. Today. Okay. I just want to be clear with people, you know, access and things like that, so they know what they're getting, right? But the beauty of it is where that would be closed, this would be open all day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Trails. yeah. And it would be used on the Well, your trails <coughs> that you've got marked here already kind of been scoped out and possible. No. So some of it could be in wetland or? Yeah, some of it's going to be boardwalks. Boardwalks, and we, okay. And we do have some budget in there for boardwalks. That's gotcha. yeah. And that's yeah. all a best guess because we don't know where the wetlands are yet. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to so clear this area, approximately how wide? 15, 20 feet? Well, no, you. I mean, no. Yeah. You try to get the trail in at about six, six feet, six okay. eight feet. And yeah. The boardwalks, like when you go to boardwalk, they'd probably be like six feet wide. And would you dense grade them with the mulch over it, or are you just going to use the natural soils that are there? No, we were going to either mulch or put stone dust down on the trails. Okay, so you might yeah take some the of them. Out. We might do stone dust, so those uh, some of the ones in the woods could be handicap accessible, but we got to check the grades and things like that. We'd really only do that on the ones that we could make ADA. But the um, ADA would poss possibly just be the area that's paved. Yeah. Uh, cemented now. Yeah. And so out and around the field. Yeah. And out and around the field, right. Yeah. So these other trails, um, once they're cleared of the brush, if they're not uh, boardwalk, then they would be would the loom be taken out and you'd put in a gravel or a stone yeah. dust? Yeah. It would, okay. Yeah. And then mulch, or mulch or stone dust. Mulch or stone dust. Yep. Okay. Because I'm only thinking some areas may get wet certain times of the year. Yeah. It would make it totally impassable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that looking at kind of where the wetlands are is going to really determine that network and that if it's you know the bridge the will definitely help if it's just a small section. <coughs> What's the roughly the the amount of unpaid oh, trail. Yeah, I, I, you know, we didn't take a linear distance okay. on it. We could, we could though. Yeah. Because we could say XX, um, you know, feet of trails. Yeah. 
Because the, the other thing that you're looking at is, you know, on the other side of the pond, we're showing hard pavement. Right. And we could end that and make that stone dust too, so there might be a variety of different, you know, stone dust will be accessible. I, I think if we can make most of that pond ADA accessible, I think we're be best. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, I think this. We all have to be reasonable between cost and in um, mm -hmm. in access. It would be hard for these trails way out in the woods to all be ADA. Just couldn't right. do it. Yeah. 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 I mean, John, if you remember, John shared with us um, some of the boardwalks and other places. And mm -hmm. um, but if but I think from a reasonable accommodation, if we could provide wheelchair access almost the entire circumference of that water, I right. think that that would be pretty good. That, that's, that's kind of what yeah. we're honed in on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think yeah. that that makes sense. And you get, so you get all the way around plus that. That's that's a good distance, right? Mm -hmm. Like you said, until you yeah. actually go out and identify it, I mean, you might find that this end piece coming out from here and going around is going to be a hard surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe stone dust. Yeah, right. Something sustainable. Yeah. Could loop that into some type of a right. Like that. Yeah, maybe not. Over here, maybe not. But you might, yeah, there might be a variety of could. different surfacing. Yeah. So It'd we don't really know how many miles this would. Yeah. No, we can get the uh, distance. We can, we can yeah. definitely get that. Yeah. yeah, it'd be nice to have like one of these loops going through the woods being be ADA, and we would assess that. Maybe, you know, maybe this one that goes like from here, like around through that. You know, get if one of them to be a, a, you a have good, a, pond, you have a park, good trail. You don't really have a woodland mm. yeah. experience. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. Yeah. If, it, if possible. Yeah, if it's dry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there a need? I know we don't not we do not have lights at the baseball field, correct? No. Is well, we're not proposing lights at the baseball field. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, it's another two hundred thousand dollars. But they're they're up there digging today. That, uh, school. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. So the scoreboard going to go down by the bench? So the scoreboard is to right where they were excavating. So if you follow the line from the electrical box yeah. out to the corner of the woods, it's going to be right there. It'll be so behind home plate almost? Uh, not, no, not really, because the woods comes out. A bit oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. X amount of feet, and it's going to be facing. So the both benches can see it and it's be visible from the high school. Okay. Is what that plan is. I just saw when I was at the practice today, I just saw the, the, the digging. Yeah. So you know, that was that's what I figured it was, but I wasn't yeah. in that. Hmm. I think this looks really nice. It's Matt, it was Maddie's uh, senior project. Yeah. This is really, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Any, any areas Thanks. in cost that you're a little uncomfortable with that you're well, trying to show something a little bit lower to feel, make us feel good, or you're really, <laughs> no, or you're really um, inflated elsewhere, saying, <coughs> you know, it's just because you're being overly cautious. Yeah, no, I mean, I think the fields, both fields, were being uh, on the high side a little bit, like we talked about before, but it's it's just to make sure we have it all covered. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then the one thing that is can be variable, like we were just talking about, are the nature trails and boardwalks, because we. You know, just took a took a stab at estimating uh, an mm -hmm. amount of boardwalks, and that's. I think we allocated seventy uh, seventy five thousand dollars for boardwalks because mm -hmm. there is quite a bit of wetlands in there, mm -hmm. but that that could fluctuate. You know, between the boardwalks and the and the soft surface trails. Yeah, that, that could also be. You know, so like we're showing a network in that, and it could be a design two number as well that would change the network. Yeah, up trails, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. this might be the the maximum, and perhaps there's another that that, that we, you know, as, as the design progresses, you would have a design two number, and we could streamline what those yeah. plans are. Yeah, good I was point. thinking if you just put in the trail around the pond, it'd be nice to know how far that is, whether it's a half yeah. a mile, a quarter yeah. mile, yeah. a mile, because. That could still act as a recreational trail for a lot of people. If it was a three quarters of a mile or a mile, they'd be very happy with that. Mm -hmm. It might eliminate a huge amount of maintenance. It and looks like it's about a quarter mile. If yeah, you wrap that, which would be you know, about, like the track, about the track. You know, yeah. and it'd yeah. be nice vistas and whatever. Um, that could bring down some cost of something that's great for the intergenerational, but doesn't do anything for your feels what you need so bad. 
Yeah. So if you cut that, and then just a thought, if you brought the wiring for one of those two fields, but did not do the lights for the second field at this point, could you survive with one lighted field over there? Only knowing that the cost of the lighting is, is what it is. And these are not things to throw out now. Yeah, no, no, I'm just trying to think of schedules to understand what that yeah. would, how that would impact. And then the third thing um, is the playground, which I understand, again, to be part of the providing for the little kids. But um, you know, it's 200,000, 200, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one over here was around 300,000. Mm -hmm. And we've got a ton of equipment. And this is one piece of equipment. Uh, what type of? Yeah, it's a few you, pieces of equipment. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, like three, that, that would be also a design two number. Yeah, you know, if we decided. Yeah. We also talked, Chris, when when we yeah, first had the yet. playground, we still had the building, um, mm -hmm. the large building, um, and the playground would obviously serve. At that point, it would serve a broader age range. Yeah. Right now that we've gone and eliminated the building, now it opens up, you know, potentially the basketball court, the pickleball court, to some of the older the older group that might have hit that playground so the playground um, so we could, I think we could go younger focused on the like playground like Weymouth for example I think it's Weymouth yep it has, it has one centralized well sort of centralized and it, it, it is a, it's a, a place where you know all those little kids that are going to be at these fields with their parents and they're, I mean, they're all going to go there mm -hmm. you know it's in the middle I think it's is it necessary Mm. It, but it'll be it'll be a good place to babysit well, kids I guess is yes. what you're saying yeah. so and that yeah. is neat and the kids will yeah. just be like versus yeah. them you know running around the back a lot swimming yeah. in the pond the, Way <laughs> the Weymouth one that all the kids like you go to the Weymouth games and all the like parents go yeah. to the games and all the kids go yeah. right? and it's not a big one it's no they all go there yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I think in order for it to be an, a true intergenerational park you need the playground yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the Weymouth isn't huge. It's it's small. It's not, it's not a big one. So I'm th I'm only thinking hanging. of the comments at town meeting when they start that chop chop chop. You know yeah. what they're going to say? Yeah. Do we and need we these just walking trails. Yeah. Do we need a playground? We just built one. Yeah. We just gave. We you could bust the kids over to this the other one. Yeah. Well, parents <laughs> are watching the games. Yeah, and we've done a lot of fields with infrastructure for the lighting for yeah. the future. So I mean that you know it doesn't take all the cost out, but it does at least give you the opportunity that you can come in later. And, and I agree that, that nobody wants to come back a second time for yeah. this. So, um, but you just need to have an answer for every every question that's going to come up at town mm -hmm. meeting, which right. is going to be some of it could be yeah. pretty yeah. wild. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> yeah. we, we talked about doing like an information session ahead of time at yeah. in front of the meeting to try to answer Good. most of the questions. Yeah. That we know yeah. That some no, of the and I think ones are coming, but the issue, you know, that, I guess my point on that is, what's the cost of the lighting? You know, the, the four poles and the lights. If yeah. We, if we pre, you know, everything else, versus the fact that at six fifteen tonight that field would be unusable. Whereas yeah. with the lights, you could, you know, you could run mm -hmm. until whatever time we say we can run the party time. I mean, what's the cost of the actual fixtures of the light? Um, I mean, I think the actual lights are um, just around two. Um, well, that's the infrastructure. So the lights, are, I think, are like 180 per yeah. field for the lights. Okay. So, so I, that, yeah, I mean, I think you. There's ways to value engineer, um, but it's going to be in smaller increments, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. right. What? Um, sorry. What is the building? Is that stick built or stick what? Built. It's yes. stick built. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think our thought is that it's, it's wood framed. Yep. It's, wood framed. It's okay. cement I mean, fiber siding, yeah. asphalt roofing. Yeah. So it's so it's durable, but it's it's you know. It's not school construction. Yeah. I'm sure you've got everything. I haven't, but I heard that one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's a lot of questions, I'm sure, that will come up, and you could nickel and dime it to death. It's it just really, it you know, could. what at the end of the day, what are you really going to say, Frank? You've got a theme that you're working on here, which is for one place for all. And that's for everyone. You stay, you got to hold tight on that, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. yeah. if you want it to work. but. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, there are going to be a handful of people who are going to be against it for yep. whatever reason. Right. Yep. Um, but I don't think that even the people who are against it would argue that it's not a need. So it's just a matter we just present it. It's their money. Yeah. You know, no. Whatever, whatever, whatever the town decides. 
And you've been working on this for years with a committee that's very diversified. And that's a, a huge key, I think, is that people have to understand this is not something we just threw together. Yeah, we've been working been on this for a while. Yes. Based on need, based on future um, population and all of that. Yeah. And I, I feel like this group's been really thoughtful about it. You know, we yeah. tried to put the building in and we just thought, you know, that it's just too much money, so we scaled back, and this still gives you the fields that you need, and a lot of options for the whole town to use. So. I assume that at, at this meeting, that that will all be put out. You know, the history of this committee, yeah. mm -hmm. who we are, what we do, and all that. I would assume that yeah, people yeah, people yeah. know that we're not just a bunch of people. Well, look, we'll have to have what I would call a presentation meeting. We'll have right. to get together yeah. and determine who says what and how we do it. And, and um, you know, again, just, just presenting facts. So I think, you know, Jeff alluded to it earlier. I think you know what your next steps are. Yeah. That as a committee, our next selections meeting is October 5th. And the next one after that is October 19th. My personal opinion is that until we have a final cost and we also have um, how we would pay for it and what those impacts are, I wouldn't be comfortable going before the board yet. No. So I'm thinking we need to have at least one, if not two more meetings. Maybe one meeting um, uh, with Carl and Mike, go over everything one more time. We can do everything in that meeting, great. But if not, then we have a second meeting, figure out how we would pay for it, what our recommendations are, how, what our presentation would be, and so then I would be targeting the October 19th meeting with the board. So we're looking at 5, 12, 19. Is it 5, and then 12 if we need it, and 19 to the select one? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking, or are you thinking Jeez. 12, 19? I think that's probably accurate. I, um, you know, or it will maybe 4, 12, 19, because next, if there's a select meeting next week, I don't want to pinch us. Oh, you don't want to. Okay. Oh. So maybe if we if we do next Tuesday, and again, I'm, I know we're still trying to find. But to your point, if we did next Tuesday, with with um, a buffer of the 12th, and then we have the 12th if we need it, or any other date, yep. and then be ready for the 19th, um, and then if the selectmen call it on the 19th and they're happy and comfortable, we could still target a mid-November town meeting. Um, and again, I'm not really against if we had to even do the first or second week of December. That doesn't hurt us because it's not until spring that we can go out to bid. So, yeah, you know, other than know, just people's activities, I'm sure ramp up a little. Yeah. Well, we get into winter sports. I would, I would yeah, lean more towards the first week rather than the second week of Christmas of, of December. Of if, yeah, from yeah, between agree. those I two agree. because you need a lot of stuff right before yeah, that I know. winter break. And I'm hoping we can so get that second week in November. But I have to say, well, people might be in the Christmas spirits, right? Or they're all broke. Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday. You know, yeah. Greg, you can come dress yeah. to Santa Claus yeah. and make the presentation. Sure. Wednesday is? Yes. Wednesday is. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they're so going to Tuesday. So do we want to target next Tuesday? Does that work for everybody? I am, I am not available. All right. Well, then that's not good. Um, what about next Thursday? I'm not on You're not Thursday. Um, if we did next Wednesday. Wednesday's Yom Kippur. I don't know if that's it. Anybody here? Maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, um, next Wednesday is fine for me. But I'd, I'd want to do it a little bit early. We, we meet at 6.30, so does 5 o'clock get too early for everybody? It does for me. Cause In the morning or night? Are you okay with Wednesday? <laughs> I do the morning. <laughs> that's better for me. That's, that's better for me. Day in the well, actually, not Wednesday. Wednesday is... Wednesday morning's a tough Well, you know what? That that shouldn't really be that long of a meeting. No, I, I think no. it's just to summarize. I mean, it, it should just be a wrap up, really, yeah. of, of kind of what we discussed today. Yeah. There's some minor, minor elements, and we'll probably yeah, be we able could to probably send get that the information end. to us beforehand, so that yeah. if you had any yeah. questions, we can we can send it out. Yeah. So, uh, does five thirty work next Wednesday, or is five forty five better? Those either. those t neither one of those either times one. matter. You know what I mean? Like okay. It doesn't matter either way. That it's good or it's bad? It's fine. It's just right. But does, does 15 minutes make a difference to you? Um, I'll just try to be here. Mm -hmm. I'll be like 5.45. I might have to call in. Mm -hmm. 
So why don't we shoot for 5.45 next? Okay. And I would think that in a half an hour, if I could get whatever you're gonna present beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, but just beforehand. And, and, um, and none of it's gonna be a real surprise. Yeah. It's just gonna be packaged a little bit yeah. differently. Right. Yep. Um, and then I'll send it out to the committee as soon as we receive it. And that way we should be able to move along pretty quickly that night. So and when did we decide 530? 540. 545. 545. And then um, and then I think from there the committee will make a decision about meeting again, really more about how we're gonna present and what our next steps are as a committee. Just the committee's good on locations, fields, everything, right? We're I don't want to say we're done because we're never done, but we're done. I think about it's right. with the one exception of the four pickleball at the Howard Council of Aging site. We're, we'll, we'll do a quick overlay of that and let you know where we can pop it. But and everything else we're, we're kind of locked and loaded on, right? And but from a cost standpoint, if we jog it eight feet this way or that way, it's all going to be fairly minimal. No. We might have a little more clearing uh, if we have to go into those woods. Yep. Probably just add in some clearing costs. So are you thinking more about putting it to the towards north. the library? Or yeah. Are you thinking about you know, putting it, putting yeah. it to yeah. towards the library? Yeah, I mean, I think library. we want to do an it overlay and see where, where there's some yeah. free space. But okay. we're, we're thinking maybe we can cut a little yeah. bit of the, the woods to the south and, and go above to the north of the tanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, we just have to find a 60-foot spot. Okay. I know it's not ideal, but if you turned it and went east-west closer to the road, I know you'd have to take some of the pine trees out and put it closer to the road whether that's a concern or not. would be my only yeah. little higher ground. I would have taken that too. too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where all the pine trees are. In, in the yeah. fence at yeah. all. Yeah. And, yeah. and that'd be a question yeah, of yeah, whether... Yeah, into that spot. Yeah, question of whether you'd want to clear those pine yeah. trees. Yeah, right along here. Yeah. Yeah. Was, it, was, was that not wet? No, the wet area is up here. I looked at this last week when we were here. This is all, all these pine trees seem to be an upwards from my lay, layman's view. Yeah. Um, do you guys have to We just, when you're doing your layout. Right. Yeah, we can, you know, I think what we can do is send you a couple spots that where it could possibly yeah. fit. Tim, is there anything not as conservation agent, but is there anything as just first time kind of seeing this and looking at this that makes you go? Not the, not really. the only thing I have got a question, no. and I'm just Probably throwing this out there, is the food pantry site, if that's where you're going to put it, it's awful far from the parking lot. I thought of that too. I did <laughs> too. Yeah. That would be my only two cents. But there it's, is it's a walkway there. Between getting the field storage right. close to the field right. and that's the. That's why I think so. Where it was, yeah. yeah, we were gonna put it, put the basketball court there right. and the building well, up by the parking. Then but then you gotta schlep yeah. everything out to the field from, the, big shopping from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. I mean, there are nice walkways too. Right. Right. You know, yeah. It's a good walking, shot. walking path. Right. Right. Otherwise, well, let me ask you. I mean, just again, just because we're talking about that. To the left of the field, we have a storage facility. How big is that storage facility? Those were 25 by 50. And then it was to be determined whether half are open air or not. Yep, so that's what, 1,250 so square feet? Oh, you think of putting yeah. it over here? Well, what I was wondering is do you, so what do you, if this building here could accommodate that space, do we put it more in there and make the food pantry of this building? Well, you're pointing on there. Yeah. Like, you can, <laughs> you can, you know, I mean, what everything's is, accounted for, so you could juggle, was you could juggle it around. If enough of this space can go into here and move the food pantry from here to here. To give up the bathrooms? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. what, if, what if you were to enlarge the field storage on the east field, that cheaper building cost? and then take the storage out of that restroom building and then we can flip the building could move to the parking lot side and basketball could be behind it because you have no storage component anymore you know basically yeah. mm -hmm. you, you, the, your building would be on the parking lot it wouldn't really then, impact cost much right you just no switch it, it, well, can be we, changed it would around, actually yeah. make it i think our numbers are going to come down a little bit because the square foot cost of those prefab buildings are cheaper than our stick built Mm -hmm. So we'd be taking 500 square feet out of our out of 
the building. Moving it to what calls covered in. storage on the map. Yeah, okay. and it's still, I mean, there's covered and, I mean, the thought was some of it's open, some of it's covered. Do those we I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, I think we would just add that 500 square feet to that shed. The shed to the smaller field? Yeah. Is there, a, like, no, I was going to say, is there electric at the sheds? Yeah, they'll need, they'll yeah they'll need, you're going to need a light. Yeah. They can, yeah. They'll need, not even light, but they'll need refrigeration and that sort of stuff. That's the only way. Well, no, they would stay, they would stay here. We take the field storage from here and put it here. So we'd reduce the size of this building a little bit, increase the size of this, take this building, put it over here, okay. put the basketball over there. Yeah. So it, the restrooms, everything There's would stay right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 So I'm thinking, I thought I was, I'm thinking the opposite. I mean, I yeah. think the nice thing about that is your restroom, I mean, everyone knows where the restrooms are and where the food pantry is. You know, there's no wayfinding signage. It's like it's yeah, I actually like great. that. But you're right. That that means the doors would op open right to the parking lot for yeah. the food yeah. pantry. The only other thought I had was that this facility would be closed probably d without the food pantry, December through the spring, right? Would there be a need to heat the bathrooms, or would they be water uh, winterproofed and shut down for the winter? Well, I mean. You'd be adding costs to the building if you if you heated it. Right. If you so yeah. you'd normally shut them down. You'd shut them down. You'd winterize the winterize building. them. Yep. But you'd have to keep the building heated for the food, for the food you would, huh? Yeah. And yeah. you'd have to keep it plowed yeah. out. But we could so we could keep it as a partially heated building where the food pantry is open. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and, you know, if you're going to staff the food pantry, it's a little. Hard. But then you still have to heat the bathrooms yeah. because yeah. if they're in, yeah. right. And yeah, I mean, I yeah. think what we would do is just, you know, you'd have a setting where you can turn the toilet rooms down low, and then maybe you keep the single-use restroom as, as kind of a fully heated room, but the other one's really 45. And then they'd park it and everything would have to be plowed out, and the rocks plowed out for yeah. that food. Wait, but you would only have to plow out this section here. You don't have to plow out everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you'd want to keep it open anyway for so. security reasons, but I'm just saying that the building would have to be heated all yeah. winter and yeah. so forth for just the food pantry. Well, that'll be part of the O&M plan of what yeah. they want to Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's going to be true regardless of where you locate it. Whether you locate it close to the, you know. Right. But originally yeah. this was a building that uh, facility was open. Seasonal building. All yes. year. It was right. going to be year-round. And, year and now it isn't. Because once soccer and all the fall sports are done, boom, you could, you could mothball it to the yeah, spring yeah. but now you're gonna you got a retail business open up in it yeah. so now you're gonna have to really you know that's uh, true the town's gonna have to or we or the town or whatever's gonna have to figure out the costs to keep that building running yeah. and then figure out where that falls for the food pantry yeah. that's, that's, that's and maintain and clean and yep. yeah you know, all of that stuff no, that's so. true very true oh. Don't lost. Don't get lost somewhere in there. There's there's an opportunity to make some money on these fields too, with tournaments and things along those lines. Yeah, things. and that yeah. might get increased a little bit too with the Depending high school. Depending on the winter, those trails may be used all winter too. They could be. Yeah. Yeah. Until yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. we get our first hot snow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We're getting hot yeah. snow <laughs> after January now too. Yeah. Not getting any this year, so. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me knock for you. all that snow money in the. Are we are we asking them to then to 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 make that change, move the storage over here, and move this in the front, and move the basketball back? Yeah, and we all yeah, yeah. and then we'll make this shed bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, no, we made that change right after we said we weren't going to make any more changes. <laughs> <laughs> I will say right now. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, no, after that. no, no. It's it's I think that's. I think it's an excellent point. It's, it's good to get I another set of eyes on this. So yeah, yeah. no, and I and I thought about that, but I thought, well, there's a nice walkway there, but you know, the more you think about it, it does make more sense to have it near the. Yeah, it would near be, the you know, on line. a cold day, it'll be quicker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Do um. Do we have gas on the street? Uh, we do. Of Lincoln. Uh, I do not know. I believe there is. I believe there is. Solar panels? Hmm? Solar panels. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, we can make turn this whole thing into a solar field. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no more changes <laughs> across the street. <laughs> Have you looked at the utilities at all, whether or not there's gas there, and if that's how you're 
you expect to heat the building? I, I, mean, I haven't seen the gas. I mean, I think we were thinking electricity. I would say there was for the greenhouses. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. And we should we put heat, heat pumps in there? Huh? If you're talking about heating that building in the winter and whatnot, should you put heat, heat really do electric heat pumps in there? Isn't that the latest? Yeah, I think we can super insulate it, and, and, and the electrical is probably the cheapest first cost. Well, the nice thing is, is that if we did the mini splits with the heat pump, you can AC the. We could AC it for one. cheaper, mm -hmm. and then we could also control it by a smartphone or right. so that we can really yeah, schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule, exactly. Yeah. And really, really drive the yeah, cost down. Yeah, the food pantry, I think you're going to want to have air conditioning. Yeah. Right. Does yeah. it have a walk in refrigerator? No, 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 just probably what they have, right? They, they, they gave have, a list they, of three or four commercial. Well, they had some large, nice, but large commercial, commercial standards. Or, or reach in type. Correct, yeah. yeah. Um, the do that the I think we leave space behind the building. Mm -hmm. Should there be a need to expand, or should the food pantry need to expand in the future, too? Right. Um, but yeah, I think we, we go in the back. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think for HV HVAC stuff, we should probably just go with mini splits with heat pumps, mini split. and then just make sure they're wired up so that way, f from a smart standpoint, we can yeah. control them control them remotely. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you'd want that anyways, because if they leave the building and they forget to turn the heat down, then you, get, you know somebody could not have to go and right. monitor yeah, it. Yeah, if they're locked, whatever, yeah. right. you know, if they're scheduled and locked, it'll, it'll just work. I assume work. the lights would be yeah. the same way if yeah. the fields. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about yeah. cameras, right? Just a couple yeah. here, there, to. Right. Yeah, I think yeah, they'll have security lighting on the building as well. You know, like yeah. the, the porch lights will go on. And, and is this a, it's a, um, the security cameras that's priced in here, is it only on the building or is it some on the field as well? I, th I think we only included it around the building. <coughs> just wondering whether or not do we want to put a couple on the poles and just have the probably just get simple independent IP cameras mm -hmm. that don't need a, a, a run back, a server or anything you know. just, to, just to know just honestly for the police station to have mm -hmm. So do we have them do it, or do we do it on the side after the fact? I mean, I think it's wires, wires run, you know, home run back to the building. Mm -hmm. but, you know, just extra. Yeah. What is that? Is that a four foot fence around each field? Yeah, it is. Four, 42 inch. Yeah. You should probably talk to the police chief and not make his decisions for him, right? Yeah. Where he wants to get Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's one good we thing about the high school field. It's right on 106, so it's good visibility for safety yeah. and all that jazz. But this is a little bit more remote. It's a little tucked away. We can put a budget in there for security cameras, and then you guys, it could be worked out, final mm -hmm. design. Okay, yeah, just like, like 20, 20 grand or something. Yeah. yeah. Run it right to the police station. Yeah. You get the IP ones, and anybody can follow that. Yeah. Right. Okay, I can talk to Rick. Are we good? Good. Good. Thank you yeah. so much. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Next, yeah, next Wednesday. Yeah. We are He'll be here. I, I have another meeting next Wednesday, so Carl will cover. And then we'll send you all the yeah. same. But we'll, we'll send you all the same. Before the meeting. Yeah. Everybody, motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. Aye. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.